Hi everyone, if you're looking for daily, fun, easy, quick activities to do that are creative, then I'm here for you. These are some of the packs that I have that you can download off my website or you can buy as a printable from my website, depending on what your needs are, but the printables are UK only. Uh, no, sorry, the printed versions are UK only. The printables, obviously, you can download them and print them anywhere you want. So um, today we're going to run through one of the colouring sheets from the coloring pages pack docs and I'm going to flick through all the pages of the coloring sheets pack for you so you can have a really good look at all the different ones that are there and um, then we'll do one of the pictures at the end we're using ohuhu markers today um, I love using those on big pictures like this and so I'm going to leave you to watch this i'm not going to put any music on because you can put your own music on and then when i come on and off with my voice as i will do throughout this video you can still hear me but then you've got your own music on so it'll go dead silent for a while um but i will keep pitching in here and there so enjoy tip for you here now I'm going to put all the rest of the sheets in behind another section with my dividers and then I'm going to use my alcohol markers with the divider already underneath so I know that I'm not going to get any color going through to my other coloring sheets it's the same as when you use a book and you have to slot a piece of card in the book instead of completely wasting card all the time you've got your des this is why I like plastic dividers you've got the divider there and it keeps the ink off your other pages I've also just shown you there my plan of the Ohuhu markers. So that, that, that sheet there exactly is the layout of how I store my markers in a marker stand. So I can quickly find the colours that I want. Also, it means I, I'm not guessing by looking at the colour of the pen because they're never exact matches. So I've got a little swatch of the pen on the sheet exact in the placement of where that pen is. And I can see what it actually looks like on paper. Um, I am using one of my pens here, one of my favourite colours that I've used a lot lately. Uh, it's running out a bit, so, and I'm just showing you there. It goes through, but it doesn't go through there because it's plastic. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's all I wanted to say on that. So the first uh, layer I'm laying down is my lighter colours. I always try to have three to four shades of the same colour. So if I'm doing a brown dog, I'll have varying shades of brown. Um, so I'm going in with the light up to the darker, because obviously you can go over the light with the dark, but you can't go over dark with the light, um, which obviously that just makes sense. So there are sections I leave out that I know are just going to be lots of dark, but I'm being quite, I'm using the brush markers as though they're brushes and I'm not being too neat about it. I'm 
kind of just doing it as though I'm patching in bits here and there as if I was using a paintbrush and that's how I work however I just want to add a note please know that however you colour in is valid to you so if you just want to block colour this lovely little dog in then you do that it's absolutely fine valid and it's your way and it's also going to be in your file it's not going to be anybody else's it's yours so the the point of this and the point of everything i do is for mental well-being this is about switching off and enjoying it just completely switch off and enjoy it don't think too much that's why i'm doing squiggly marks i'm not really thinking i'm just having fun so that's all i would say for that so this this i'm sh what you can see now is i'm coming in with a second slightly darker color um I am actually not a trained artist, but I have been doing art for a long time. I am a selling artist. I sell a lot of my art and art products, which you can also find on my website. Um, so I've learned a lot over the years, but I've still got a lot to learn, um, haven't we all? I don't think with art you can ever stop learning, and that's what I love about it. I love learning new things. Um, and with each and every medium comes a new learning curve. So, um I, I just think just enjoy it and as time goes on you'll learn more and more as you go and we don't really want to be worrying about the outcome just just be having fun with it there's quite a few of these coloring in activities that I think oh I don't like what it's turned out like but it doesn't matter because I enjoy doing it so if I can get anything across to you then it would be that right I'm going to be quiet and let you watch the rest
Okay, so I'm coming towards the end now and I just wanted to say if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and um, I hope you have a go at here and download your kit and see how it goes. Um, don't forget as well, experiment. If you wanted, you could have a purple, blue, pink dog. It doesn't really matter, does it? Just enjoy it. Um, so I also wanted to say don't forget they're available on my website to download um, or you can order a printable version if you're in the UK. Um, so have a good day. I hope, hope you come back. You can also join my membership for um, other art videos as well on YouTube. Um, yeah, okay. Have a good day. Bye, everybody.